folks, it's Jason, and I'm here to give you a quick uh, message about the Surecarm SR112 repeater controller. Now, a friend of mine had bought this uh, based on a short review that I did with him just to go over some of the features, and he said, yeah, indeed, I want it. Now, he wanted to use a low-power mobile radio for it. The default cable that comes with it is meant to attach to a handy talkie such as a biofang and it's a real easy setup but in his case he wanted or had to build a cable to interface with his mobile unit so I told him well you need a four conductor uh, jack and obviously the associated wiring and on the other end you need the same thing you get the wiring diagrams for the repeater and your radio plug it in you should be good to go and he built the connector the patch cable but it didn't work and I looked over his wiring and I thought well it should then it became very clear if you look at the cable that comes with the repeater for the handy talkie you could see there's four sections yeah when you buy a standard uh, connector from an electronics store or whatever you get a four conductor connector identical to this but it's not here's the key if I put these up together you can see that the ground sheath is longer than a typical uh, four conductor jack and it's just a slight bit longer now in this particular jack you can see I've got a tiny little bit of a collar here and all I had to do was just take a small Dremel tool and shave that a bit to expose a little bit more of the ground conductor which is the first conductor um, on the uh, on the cable pop it in make sure it snaps into the back of the repeater controller and start it to work so it's a very simple fix look at the connector that you're using as opposed to the one that came with the repeater and if they're off in size by any way as you can see here you're gonna have to make a modification to this or find the appropriate jack or buy the actual cable from the vendor which I've tried a few times and they keep coming back saying they're out of stock or the shipping is going to take too long, like two, three months. I just ended up going on Amazon, buying some of these connectors. My friend did the same thing. We trimmed them down. Works absolutely fine. So look at your connector before you give up and say it's not working.